Hey guys, and welcome back to Spoiled Amnesia. We're here with the whole entire family, and things are looking crazy as we start, okay? I was trying to figure out things to benefit everyone, and I just, I couldn't come up with anything. So right now, we need a little less than 2,000 still to be able to get, um... <coughs> Alright, I haven't coughed, like, seriously in the last two hours. Start this video and I cough. Okay. We haven't, um, we need about 2000 to buy anything else, so I think the next thing we're going to buy is either going to be a fridge, which she wants, or did somebody even want to buy a bed? Because no one even got a wish to buy a bed, and without the wish, we can't buy it. So, speaking of, <laughs> we didn't, I don't think we had a wish to buy the pet bowl, and we bought it. This stuff we didn't buy, as you know. Um, it's just here for right now. And whatever we buy is the only things that we can sell. Well, the only things that... Um, really, I shouldn't have even let you guys take out this stuff. But you know what? I'm not going to make them worry about it. If they want to buy a stove, then they have to delete this one. Well, put it in their inventory again and then move on. Anyways, into the game... So, I have Susie going ahead and cleaning up the dirty, the ripped up newspaper outside. Uh, Brayden is at work, so I have, no I can, there's nothing I can really do for him. They, I really hope they feed him because he's starving. I don't know if I fed anyone today, so I need to get that situated as well. Mason's passed out on the ground right now. Mercedes, well, she just has a lot of stuff that I can't do. There's, actually, we have a stereo. You could upgrade that. That would get us... Well, it's not really going to count towards our points, but it would get you something to do. So why don't you go ahead and... Her mood is too low. Okay, well... <coughs> nothing I can really do. I wish they could nap in this thing, but they can't, so that's fine. Mathis is running home, I do believe. Um, Ichabod is passing out, I guess. He's supposed to be cleaning the chalkboard erasers, but who knows what he's doing. He could... Blah, it tastes foul. Will it ever end? If you think chalkboards are bad, try erasers. Well, he's supposed to be going to work, so he's probably going to get in bad trouble. Um, Maria's off to work, and then um, Maisie is sitting over here and doing her homework. So we're going to kind of stay with Maisie right now because she's actually doing something like she's supposed to be doing. <clears throat> Let's see. Ichabod, are you coming out or no? No, I think he's going to stay in for right now anyways. Look at these kids. What is wrong with your hair, Thomas Casper? I think that was your last name. This paparazzi man, he's just wearing, like, no clothes. I guess it's how we do it these days. This little girl's cute. Zoe Waloff. 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 No idea. All right, did you clean that up? I really hope you did. Probably not, but that's okay. She couldn't hold any longer, just had a regretful bladder accident. Well, I'd rather she pee and just, you know, be embarrassed about it then not pee at all because it was making her mood horrible. Though her mood is still pretty horrible. Wow, that is loud. Okay, Maisie, are you almost done with this stinking homework or what? He's running home, so let's jump over to him and see how he's doing. He actually is going to become an astronaut, so he makes $40 an hour. He works for, right now he's got 16 hours until his next shift. He needs a hot. He needs hygiene, energy, and fun. Well, Jock running here over here is at least getting him some fun, so that's good. Looks like she's completed her homework, so it looks like she's on her way over. Let's go to Ichabod. Ichabod, I really think that you're not listening to me and just choosing to do something else. Anyways, let's go and get you over to your job. I really should have given them a house in town. I wasn't thinking, but that's really what I should have done. All right, run over here. And Maisie's running, so that's good. She's on her way home, I do believe. Okay, Ichabod, where are you at? The whole athlete. A pilgrimage to a second sedentary spot could bring greater in 
inner peace and focus making you a more valuable athlete. Visit a scholar's garden and spend some time taking in the air. Your coworkers will be impressed with the new you. So you have to go to China and stay at the scholar's garden and then report back to work to increase your job performance. Well, we're not traveling in this, so I'm going to say no. All right, let's see. How are you doing? He's late for work. That's expected. She went to work for the first time. That's fine. Just making sure all of these people are getting all of the stuff done that they need to. She's still on her way home. <clears throat> She's got three hours before she passes out. She should be able to jog or run there in three hours. Braden McGrath has met Marigold Racket at work. I appreciate Sims who take it upon themselves to learn a new craft. Let's get to know each other better. <clears throat> well, that's just awkward. All right. Um, the people over at the house, <clears throat> they're going to take care of themselves. <clears throat> There's nothing I can really do for them right now. And that's just kind of how it is. Only because everyone needs energy really bad. <clears throat> Which is why I was hoping we could get some stuff done. All right, let's see. You need to work hard then. If you can't, if you're not going to do what I told you, then work hard. And your work performance is probably horrible. It's, it's expected to be horrible. All right, work. <clears throat> and you're going to need to work hard because, oh, he's too unhappy to work hard. Well, you're going to have to work. We'll do business as usual at least because that's just horrible. All right, you're working hard, which is good. You're still running home. How close are you getting? Seems like you guys are getting pretty close. <coughs> Everyone is back in the red. This is just horrible. All right, you're sleeping because that's what I told you to do. I know you need to destroy something, but for right now, you're fine. All right, you keep running, Maisie. Maybe pretty soon you'll be home. Who knows? It's probably going to take you quite a bit longer. So I'm going to jump. Oh, my goodness, yes. It's going to take you quite a bit longer. All right, um, I want you, Susie, to go ahead and conjure an apple. Okay. So let's see who needs it the most. She has 10 hours. He's at work and he's perfect. He does not need it. Mason has uh, 12 hours. Mercedes has 13. Um, he was at work, so he got fed. The children, I believe, all got fed. So I'm going to go ahead and let Susie eat her own apple. Okay, go ahead and do that. And the other apple that she has, actually, Ichabod, do you have one? Yes, you do. Give it to Mason. Mason, you're going to eat this apple. And that should help you guys at least for a little while. She had an extra hour. That's the only reason she didn't get it today. But um, at midnight, we could definitely feed her, so that won't be a problem. All right. Math has passed out. Okay. She's still working. When she's done, she needs to go here by running. And he's going to have to go here by running. Can you take it easy and at least do something good? If you take it easy, does your energy go up? No. It doesn't. Work hard? No, you can't do that. Business as usual then. How is your... Oh, it's really bad. All right, well, we'll keep working on it. All right, so she wants to throw a party. I mean, we could throw one. It's not going to be a great party because we're all probably going to pass out during it. But that's not really going to help us get to buying something else. So let's see what he wants to do. He wants to buy a logic book. Buy a chess table. Work out until he's fatigued. Can you work out? I don't think you can. Work out. Yeah, it's saying he's probably, his mood is too low. Exactly. All right, Maisie, you're here. Good. Um... I know, she's so exhausted. It's so sad. All right, so I need to figure out something for everyone to do, and that's going to be the hard part. All right, Maria's earned $89 today, and Ichabod eight, earned 48 Brayden earned 1007 Now, the big thing is I have to make sure that they don't go home in a car, because that's what they will do. Maria's running here. Okay, Ichabod, you need to go here by running, and... Brayden, you can go here by running. And they're all pretty tired, so they're probably all going to pass out, but that's okay. Don't even get in that car. Don't even. Ichabod, you're running. Maria, you're running. Okay. So what I need to do, 
she's fine with hunger. She, he's fine. He's fine. She's the worst because she doesn't have that hunger boost like everyone else is in the green and hunger, and she's still in the beet red. So at midnight, we're going to have to, actually, <clears throat> at midnight, I'll just allow her to eat it, but this is going to be her apple for the day. Mercedes will be getting that apple. And then when Ichabod gets home, I'm going to have him. Actually, do they have to come home? Yeah, they're going to have to come home because they got a curfew. That's the bad thing because they got to run to school tomorrow now. Plus, they also still got to do their homework. So her homework is done. Now, this dog is in a pretty shabby mood, but that's okay. You want to become best friends and you want to learn the hunting skill. Well, I'm going to have you go ahead and teach the dog the hunting skill when he wakes up finally. So let's see. Can I get you all to that? And let's all get inside at least. Come on, guys. Come on. Get inside. At least go inside. It's warmer in there, even knowing there is no walls. But it's still... There's no floor, I mean. It's still warmer. All right. Let's go ahead and te train the dog to hunt. That at least... <laughs> this is horrible. Um, that at least gets them inside so they're not freezing to death. That's one thing that I'm scared of. You could clean this up, you know. All right. If you pee yourself, will you pee yourself? All right, he's been seen passed out. All right, you're still running. Celebrity body. Work out for four hours. You'll earn celebrity points. I'm not really worried about celebrity points, so I'm not really going to have you do that. No, wait. Wait, because I told you go here and that's not what I meant I meant run and Brayden oh you're still running okay where are you at Maria all right you're still running he's still running so that's good seems like everyone's running okay we have plenty of money to buy a bed or a sleeping bag or something at least for somebody to at least use but um I mean we gotta have are we more worried about sl energy or are we more worried about hunger? I mean, I'm keeping the hunger up pretty well. Not too worried about it yet, but I am pretty worried about it. Um, let's have you run here. You're still running, it looks like. Where are you at? I don't even see your thing. That's weird. Where are you at? Oh, you're way over there. Alright, so Ichabod's getting pretty close. Maria's quite a bit behind. Braden is pretty close. They're actually on the home stretch now. They're actually on our road. So that's pretty good. All right. What is wrong with you? Are you freezing? Get inside. I'm not going to tell you again. All right. So the dog wants to learn to hunt. Not that this is really helping her any because, you know, I just want to get these other guys home and then I can work on, work on some of the other things. All right, well, if you want to throw a party, then throw a party. I mean, what is it going to hurt? So, throw a party. And sure, we'll throw a house party at 11 p.m. I don't know about that. Um, throw it at like 9 in the morning. Uh, 9 a.m. And we'll do casual... And I'm just going to uh, invite over everyone we pretty much can. <coughs> Alright, so the party will be starting at 9 a.m. And now she wants to throw a great party. Yeah, I don't see that happening. I really don't. Dog, how are you doing? Are you almost done? All the people that I can get things done for don't really count, so what does it even matter? But, okay. Alright, stop. You want to learn the handiness skill and read a book about handiness. Well, I don't believe we have a book on handiness, but I can certainly try. All right, Ichabod, I want you to go ahead and conjure an apple. What is this? Be scolded. No, stop it, Mercedes. It's not even your son. Oh, man, that was scary. <laughs> I had no idea. And look what he's running in. Is he crazy? Is he officially crazy? Alright. He looks like he's about to die of cold. Alright. Well, we could get him to hunt. But 
It's not something he wants to do, so I guess we can't. All right, just taught Zeke how to hunt. Okay, that's fine. And Zeke just learned how to hunt, so that's good too. Oh, because I gotta wait on this other one. Ooh, it takes so long sometimes. I hate that. I really do. Are you gonna finish or what? I guess it's not. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, and then she he learned how to the hunting skill. All breeds of dogs can learn to hunt. Proper training will prepare any dog's nose to sniff out the rarest of collectibles hidden throughout the neighborhood. All right, he, she decided to be a social butterfly. That's fine. Dang. All right, so she wants to throw a great party. She wants to learn a new recipe. She wants to buy a fridge. She wants to buy a stove. He wants to work out until he's fatigued. But you know what? Until we get this energy thing situated... I don't believe anyone's going to be able to do anything. I think we're going to be kind of stuck in a rut where no one can get anything done. And that's really going to stink. All right, that wasn't very nice. All right, so conjure that apple. Celebrity body. No, we're not worried about that. Okay. Well, actually, Ichabod, you could do a couple of your things if you wanted. Um, you want a pillow fight with Mason. Where is Mason at? Mason? Where are you? Go here. Oh, I think he's officially lost his mind. All right, Maria, I need you to get to get you to do your homework. Ichabod, you really need to get your homework done as well. Who's this paparazzi? You're in big trouble, young man. You don't. You better not do that again. Maybe you should try helping out around the house to get on my good side. Okay. Well, Mason. Let's see. Friendly. Hmm. Nishi of snowball fight? Yeah, I don't think so. All right. Well, you know what, then? You can't even do your homework. This is horrible. All right. So let's see what we need to do now. All right. You want to growl at Brayden, and you want to lick Susie. All right. Let's do that, then. So go ahead and be friendly and lick her, and then you want to growl at him, which is a mean interaction. Growl at him. Okay, go ahead. I really wish you guys you could get this done. Um, friendly. Go ahead and brighten his day. Let's see. Can we do... Maybe we have to get friends? I don't even know how good of a relationship you guys have. Express your fear of the dark. Um, get to know him. Wow, your relationship with him is bad. Um, you can confess. Confess to what? Alright, that's different. Okay, go growl at Brayden. We're getting your stuff done, at least. I'm glad everyone's just tired and not, like, starving to death. That would be the scariest part. <laughs> She's gonna pass out. <laughs> too funny. Okay, so let's see. Alright, what else do you want to do? You want to sniff him? Let's be friendly and sniff him. I think he was chasing his tail. We're being boring. We'll be friendly and... Um, get to know him, and <sighs> high five him. All right, people, stop passing out. I know you guys are tired, but you can't be that tired. That was mean. Why are you being so mean to this kid? Apologize. All right, well, that should have been good. Brighten his day. Um. Um, Shaka Bra. Shaka Bra. All right. Um. All right, hold on. I'm trying to get to figure this out, okay? Um. Brightening day is normally good, isn't it? 
I would want my day brightened some days. Um, enthuse about exercise. Does he think she's being good or what? Oh man. What do you want to do? You want to eat the food. Alright, let's get you over here to eat the food. Eat. Alright, go ahead. Alright, so it says, I can see some green now, so I'm hoping they can have a pillow fight. More. Uh. Go ahead and ask about his day. Alright, so Mercedes, you have the apple for this day. You need to eat it so you don't get too hungry. Who's the worst off? She has 24 hours. Mason has 24 hours. Brayden is still in the green, so it doesn't even say. You are still in the green. He's still in green. She's still in green. And she's still in green. All right, so you have 24 hours. You have 24 hours. You have obviously more than 24 hours. So we have to choose between Susie or... Mason. And I'm thinking, <coughs> let's see, who's got more negatives? Mason. So we're going to give him the apple. So where is it? Ichabod, do you have it or does... Mason, did I already give it to you? Who did I give it to? She's got one. So where's the other apple? Unless I have to have it wasn't her. It must have been him then. He must not have gotten it. So when he's done, I'll have him... I'll have him give him an apple as a gift, I guess. Alright. Being sociable. Does that mean anything better? Let's see. Can you pillow fight yet? You can console him. That'd be nice. Uh, be friendly and... Go ahead and tell him a story. Sure, why not? Beg for forgiveness. That would be nice. Friendly. Brag about broom riding. Enthuse about mu magic. Normally they like those two. Um, ask him for food. You could compliment him if he would wake up now. Alright, well then, you know what? Go ahead and conjure the apple. All right, Mason is having a bad day. Well, that seems that seems pretty pretty normal in this family today. All right, you go ahead and have that. Susie, you're still just in a horrid mood. And that is all because you need to sleep and you need hygiene. Well, you know what? We're going to get you to take care of that. You want to sniff Eric. Then let's go ahead and do that. Sniff him. Um, I might send them all out to take a shower. Which is going to mean that they're all going to have to um, go together. But let's just go ahead and take care of the dog's needs first. Alright, go ahead and pee here. And we'll see about after that. Alright, first off, Mercedes, let's. did you eat that apple? Yes, you did. Mason, it's your turn to eat, so go ahead and eat that apple. Is that putrid quality? Horrifying. Oh, that's great. Mmm. He's probably like, this is disgusting. Alright, so at least his hunger is pretty good. Everyone's but Susie's is good. She's got 23 hours. I don't know if we're going to make it 23 hours, but okay. We'll see. Alright, well I'm going to send them all out to get a shower. And that way we can take a nap at wherever we go to. And I was thinking of having them all head over here to the... I don't think there's one at the junkyard, but I could be wrong. So let me just look. No, it's just a... It's just um, a bathroom. There is a fridge here, though. Um, yeah, I'm thinking we're all going to have to go here to take a shower, which is fine. We can do that. Um, I'm just wondering if there's a place for everyone to sit down and, or for some pe somebody to sit down and take a nap. There is a couch. Okay. 
So I'm going to send them all here, and you're going to go here. No, we can't do that, can we? We have to go here, run, go here, run, run, run. Some people are in orange, which makes me feel a little bit better that I'm actually taking care of them, but who knows? <laughs> Probably not. Um, run here. Um, run here. And the dog just needs destruction and to pee. So I'm not going to worry about that, but I'm going to go with Maria. I don't know if she's going to be the last one to leave or not because they pretty much all should be leaving at the same time. Someone needs to fill the dog bowl. Is he really? He's not that hungry, so I'm not going to worry about it yet. All right, so all of you head on out. Hopefully none of you get busted because it is like 136. But since they're all here together, you would think they would be able to do it. All right, are you the last one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. All right, so everyone's still running. That's the thing. Once we all get on the lot together, it shouldn't be too bad. It's just all getting there. That's the hard part. Look at those people way up there, though. Those three are quick. The other ones are, like, slower than molasses, but okay. <laughs> That's all right. They'll make it, I'm sure. That's pretty scary. It's pretty sketchy, too, that they're running on, like, the very edge of the road. Where'd they go? They're already that far? Jeez. You guys are fast. Look at them way up there. Jeez. They are fast. The way that sims run on the roads is kind of funny. Like, to cross the road, then to cross the road again. You would have just thought they would have crossed the road and then just ran straight, but they didn't. Um, Alright, what's happening with you, Ichabod? What's the matter? Alright, Mathis, what's going on? No idea. Alright, well, they're still moving. Since these guys are way up there, I'm going to see... I'm going to know when they're done, because... I'm going to try and see them. All right, Ichabod, are you falling asleep? I think Ichabod's stopping. Yeah, he's passing out. All right, how far are you guys? Oh, my goodness. I think some people are already here. That's crazy. I was going to do whoever got here first was going to get the nap, but I don't really see anyone here yet, so... Ichabod, I just need to tell you to go here by running. Did anyone else pass out? Uh, looks like Brayden passed out, so let's get him to run. She's still running. Ichabod, I already told you to run. Okay, so I think Ichabod's at the end, but I believe Susie is in the beginning. Let me just go up and see. Yeah, Susie's at the front of it all. So it looks like Susie might be getting the nap. All right, let's see. Ichabod, come on. You're going to get caught. Come on. He's like, I'm taking a nap. I think Susie's already there, and I think she's actually the first one. Yes, she is. Look at her go. All right, she's going to get downstairs, and there's three showers to each. Hold on, let me turn on all these lights. Turn on all lights. Okay, there we go. Um, mm, this one is so hard to tell whose is whose. So let's see. Men, women. Okay. So Susie, I'm going to let you come over here, use this, and you can shower. And then <coughs> I'm going to let you go upstairs. And I'm going to let you go ahead and take a nap. You're the only one who gets to do that. You're still running. You're not running yet. You're running. You're running. You're getting ready to run. Okay. So, I'll just have to keep an eye out on everyone else. But it seems like everyone else is already on their way here. Who was that? Ma Mason? Yes, it was. All right, Mason. You get to go downstairs, and you made it here before you even finished having, you know, having to pee. So, that's pretty good. And let's get you in here. Brayden, I believe you're the next one. Let's just make sure everyone else is still running here because well, it can be some tricky stuff. All right, Mason, you head on downstairs. You got your own little time to finish what you need to finish. All right, Brayden, 
you're here. Which means you get to come down here, you get to use and a shower. That way you are happy as well. Oh, someone's getting caught. <laughs> That's horrible. It's Ichabod. Ichabod, you silly man. All right, Maria, you are fast. Oh, wrong person. <laughs> wrong person. Maria, you get to come down here. You get to use. You get to shower. Who's the next one in the door? I want to make sure I get it to them as they come in because it's only fair that they were in here that fast. All right, you get to use. You get to shower. And then Mercedes, I'm going to have you just come down here. Where are you? Go here. And Mathis, you're here as well. Actually, Mathis, you can use the only other bathroom that's down here. And that's fine to me. Alright, so you guys go ahead and do all that. Ichabod, well, you had got sent all the way back home, I think. So, that's pretty stinking stupid. I really hate that sometimes. What the heck? Why do you got those shoes on? Maybe it's your work outfit. I have no idea. All right, well, I think he got sent all the way home. I believe. Oh, that's horrible. All right, well, you know what? You could use the bathroom because she's done with that now. To at least get that taken care of. This should help their moods a bit with the hygiene and the, and the bladder needs, at least. We have some hungry people, but that's okay. Alright, Mason, are you done already? Yes, he is. Look at that. Alright, Mason. Um, oh. Maybe we could get you to... Hmm, dance. Maybe that'll help. I don't have a clue. She's going to go upstairs and sleep, so I don't want anyone really upstairs because that's going to just wake her up. He's pretty good other than energy, but I'll just let them all dance to get some... to get some uh, fun. Extreme dance. Alright, Ichabod's at home. <coughs> she's showering when she's on She Can Dance. She's showering when she's on she can dance all right Ichabod I'm gonna go with you you're going home yeah well that really stinks because let's get you to fill the bowl it's like 4 15 a.m. it's crazy you would think that because he was running with everyone else he would have been fine but I guess not I guess we're gonna have to try again which is gonna be really idiotic because He's probably going to get caught, but we'll see. Anyways, Ichabod, you got to come over here, buddy, because this is where everyone else is. So go here by running. And the reason I also want to get them over here is for school, too, because it'll be starting at some point or another. Oh, why did I close that out? That wasn't when I meant to close out. All right, dance. All right, so you're the one, the lucky one who gets the snap today. The reason I'm kind of, because I was trying to choose by like who's going to work, but I thought, well, it's kind of funny if you choose like who gets there first. It's kind of like a race. <coughs> so since Susie got here first, I decided, well, she could have the nap. So I'll do something like that. The hunger, I'm obviously going to do it by whoever is starving the most, <laughs> pretty much. And that's just how it's got to be. Um, so, yeah. All right, the carpool for Mathis will come in an hour. Mathis, that means you got to head out to work, buddy. So where's your work? It's way over here, I believe. And you got to run all the way over here. We should have sent you way earlier. So you got to go here by running. All right, well, at least we got you some things that you needed for work. Let me make sure you actually work. Yeah, he does. All right, so head on out, Mathis. I'm sorry that you have to run, but... We can't afford to keep paying for a taxi, so not if we want to get into a better into a better place anyways. Let's put it that way. Alright, you dance. You can go ahead and dance. You can go ahead and dance. You're running, you're running. 
You can go ahead and dance. Actually, can any of you do your homework? Oh, you're done. How about you? Nope, mood is too low. You could do your homework. Oh, you got caught again. That's just idiotic. Oh, Mathis. I, how did I know this was going to happen to you? Mathis, where are you? You're still there? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, go here by running. And we're going to follow you. And that poor child, he's going to be sent all the way back home. Oh, man. All right, come on, Mathis. We're going with you to make sure you get out of here. Susie's still sleeping, so be quiet. Don't wake her up. She's sleeping. All right, we could drink these if we wanted. Um, I don't think, well, we could do the mood enhancer. I don't really know what it's going to do. So you know what? Let's give it to somebody. I don't really know what it does. I'm guessing it just enhances your mood, but I'm not sure how. So that'll be something fun to find out. Yeah, he's getting sent all the way back home again today. That's horrible. Not this. Uh, what are you doing? That's not what you're supposed to be doing. You're not listening to me at all, are you? Probably not. Go here by running. It's because he's supposed to be getting on a carpool. That's why. All right, the kids need to go to school. So what I need to do is I need to send them all out to the school, which is way over here. Poor Ichabod is going to have to run for miles on end just to get here, and he's probably not going to even have enough time. So he'll probably be late to school, and then he'll get grounded. <laughs> And then we'll have to get him back off. Because it's it's the challenge's fault that he's not making it to places on time. Once we could buy a car, if someone got a wish to buy a car, we could buy a car. But I don't know. Oh, I think we did get buy a pet bull from um, Zeke. So that's fine. I just got to make sure that they don't take a bus or anything. Which it seems like they're all running. So that's good. And we're just going with him. He actually work, starts work in 30 minutes. I don't know if he's going to make it. Though he did do a pretty good job on his performance meter on last time. So at least we're doing something right. All right, let's see. How close are you, buddy? I think he's got to go up here and then go up here. Um, and then maybe take another turn. Oh, no, it's not that turn. It's the next one, I think. Yeah, he's still got a ways to go. Let me make sure these kids are still running. Oh yeah, they're still running. And we got a couple of them headed to the school. So what I was thinking is like every day we could have something that we could give to somebody to benefit them. And when they get someplace first before the whole family, then they can do that certain thing. But I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do for it. Susie's party is starting soon. A little setup might be in order. I'm not worried about the party, to be honest with you. I'm really not. All right, I know he's late. I believe. Yeah, he starts at 7. He's only about 15 minutes late, so that's fine. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Let me check on the kids, actually, because it's been a couple more minutes. You're running. Where are you at? Are you at the school? Look at you at the school already. So let's have you just go to school, and you can. you kids can sleep in school. <clears throat> that's one thing that I will let you do because it's one of their ac interactions actually you got to work on your homework first and then you can then you can sleep and I think Ichabod actually has to do the same thing all right let's get you to work and I'm gonna get you to meet your fellow soldiers yep I know you're tired so get in there I know my meanie pants You'll be fine. Alright, so meet your fellow soldiers. Ichabod, I'm coming over with you because you're the only one, other one that I think has to go anywhere today. Uh, Susie, how about you? Do you have to work today? No, you got two days and eight hours. You don't work. Brayden has a game in eight hours, so he should probably head on over pretty soon. So Ichabod, you're really the only one, and your school doesn't start for two hours, so your sisters are just there pretty early. No, you're not. Your sisters are just early, like I said. It starts in an hour now. So he's he's getting close. He's in the town at least. I'm at least on time a little bit more today, I think, because I'm actually paying attention. Um, we could do this. 
Um, but I, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. Go ahead, Ichabod. We're going with you. That's just going to get the parents out of the household for a little while. Mm, he's going to pass out. Okay. Well, that's fine. Where are you going? You're going to a lot? Get off of that thing. Go take your free vacation. You guys better not be in cars, because I'll be really angry with you. <clears throat> Alright, come on, Ichabod. Wake up. You're wasting time by sleeping. Alright, let's go. The first guest has arrived. It's time. Alright, that's fine. Take your free vacation. You take your free vacation. You're going on it. You're going. I don't know what they're going to do because is this going to get canceled out or are they going to wait until 2 o'clock to go? Who knows? Nobody knows. Okay. We have so much in common. That's great. I've got to go. The party was nice. You call that a party? Whatever. I'm leaving. I'm not worried about if you care about the party or not. I just wanted to get it done and over with and get that out of my way. But, oh, you're skipping school. You're probably going to get in trouble. Well, that's because you couldn't stick with the family last night, so that's horrible. I'm so mean to this child. Ichabod, I'm sorry. Ichabod McGrath. Let me see how much time I have left in this episode. I have about four more minutes. So once he gets in school, I'm going to go ahead and tally up what we've done. I don't believe we've gotten any points, guys. I really don't because... We have to wait for this energy thing, and it's just, it's incredibly hard. But we're down to three Sims. And to be honest, I'm going to record the next episode because I don't want to save with them out because I just think that's a horrible way to do things. All right, go to school. And so, let's see, you need to work on your homework. How are you doing? Um, let's have you sleep in class. You're doing normal effort. Why don't you meet your friends? All right, guys, well, let me go ahead and tally everything up, and I'll figure everything out, and then I'll be right back, and like I said, I'm not going to leave these guys and save or anything, because if something does go wrong, I want them to be here, so what I'm going to do is just record another episode right after this one so that I make sure nothing goes wrong, so I'll be back in just one second. All right, guys, so I've went ahead and tallied everything up, and we did horribly. First off, I can't see Mathis's... Um, panel to figure it out because he's on the vacation so that's one of the sims that I don't know if he achieved anything but Ichabod got zero points um, ending him up still with 23,699 points once I think they get to um, 75 I'll spend them and then we'll keep going on um, Maisie has zero points as well for the total still of 14,977 and Maria got zero points for the total of 16,674 points that's an overall total so far without being able to tally in Mathis's points of a total of zero points this episode and still an overall total to my knowledge of 8,029 points so we're still not doing the greatest but guys, thanks so much for watching this one. I'm going to go ahead and record the next one just because they are out on that free vacation and I don't want anything to get messed up. If you guys like this LP, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.